It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. If you guys like my videos, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. Also, if you guys want to support me financially, be sure to go to my Patreon page or my PayPal page in the links down below. As I film this video right now, FIFA 2018 is finally over. France got 4 points while the other team had 2 points. Of course, many people wanted to celebrate, however, a riot broke out in France. Bravo! That was the best reaction ever. I mean, people should totally just go out on the street, destroy property, and actually not face any consequences. Whenever you guys just go on the street and just riot for no good reason, you guys look like freaking idiots all the time. Look, I understand if you guys want to celebrate, However, rioting on the streets is not the best course of action. Apart from the riot, many people on social media decided to take the time to politicize FIFA and actually make it about race because apparently soccer and race are totally the same thing. Here's a tweet that comes directly from Richard Spencer and before somebody asks me who is Richard Spencer, he is pretty much uh, this guy. Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! Yeah, he's a very nice and noble person, that Richard Spencer. Imagine connecting your sense of natural pride to a bunch of Africans kicking a ball around a field. The Romans, to their credit, viewed the gladiators for what they were, a grotesque spectacle. I love how this tweet automatically assumes that you cannot connect to players simply because they're black. Just because a group of people have a certain skin color does not mean that you cannot connect to players simply because of their skin color, you stupid fucktart twat waffle. Why don't you just fly to the freaking moon, build your endo state, and proceed to fist fuck yourself? Oh please, trust me, the world will be a better place without you and your fucking tiki torches. This post comes from the Voice of Europe. To my knowledge, the Voice of Europe is a page that talks about immigration in Europe. France World Cup win show us that a successful soccer team doesn't mean a successful society. And of course, underneath the post, they have footage of soccer fans rioting. I honestly do not understand how soccer is related to immigration. Sports riots are not related to immigration because dumbasses almost always riot after a game win. The British are pretty much notorious for rioting. Sports fans for the NFL almost always riot for the Super Bowl. So basically rioting is a societal issue. It is not an immigration issue. It does not matter if you're black, if you're white, if you're Hispanic, if you're Asian. Rioters come in different shapes and colors. Finally, The Daily Show decided to post this particular gem right here. Yes! Yes, I'm so excited. Africa won the World Cup. 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 You're absolutely right, Trevor. If a black person was born in France, was raised in France, was trained to be a soccer player for the French team, they are obviously representing Africa, not France. Also, those black basketball players who are born and raised in America definitely represent Africa and not America. The thing about it is that both race and nationality are totally different things. A person's race can refer to their skin color and their background, whereas the nationality refers to someone's place of birth. Obviously, I'm a black person, but I was born in America, raised in America, and speak the language and have a Western name. How would it be fair to call me an African in that scenario if I was not born in an African country? Just because somebody is black 
does not mean that they're African. There are Americans who are black. There are Europeans who are black. Basically, your nationality is separate from your race. Nobody is less French because they're black or less American because they're black. Like seriously, just how the fuck is this a conversation? It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.